the reason I thought that the comparison with Lawrence of Arabia was interesting because I think that both of these films on some level are a way for the British people to like understand themselves and their relationship hmm. to these, uh, you, you know, old British colonies. Right. Um, uh, I think that, you know, a film like Lawrence of Arabia or even like Gandhi, yeah. I don't think would get made today. Or if it was made today, it would be like very, very different. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly you wouldn't see Ben King. I don't even think you would see Ben Kingsley playing Gandhi. Hmm. You know, uh, Indian descent aside, I think that the fact that he's British at all, it would already be off the table, yeah. you know. Uh, but then certainly Lawrence of Arabia, it's like, well, that story wouldn't even be allowed to be told, you know. Mm -hmm. So f forget casting that at all. Um, but I think that in both instances, what's kind of really important, uh, I think, that a film like this gets made at all is that it becomes a way, I think, uh, in like the popular consci consciousness to like grapple with this complicated history of colonialism and British British influence in these other countries, which, you know, let's like, to be fair, say, had some good things about it and some bad things about yeah. it, you know? Yeah. And I think that in both of those films, you see a kind of grappling with this. And I think that there's actually a symbolic power in having a British actor play this role, you mm -hmm. know? I think that for a people, there's something significant in casting one of our own. And it's great, too, that he has Indian heritage. Yeah. But casting one of our British actors in this role that there's a kind of integration and a kind of healing that happens you know um i think that something similar happens with with lawrence of arabia maybe we'll talk about that film on this podcast someday because we've certainly mentioned it enough times yeah um but uh just the last point that i wanted to make on this was that even when you're watching a film like lawrence of arabia or gandhi and and when it gets critical of the British government, you know, or, or when it highlights these injustices or atrocities committed by the British colonial powers, it's still being reflected through the lens of the British self-awareness, right? That it's there's like a act of self reflection that's taking place. Right. Because we're a Western audience watching this, right? You know, I'm identifying myself with the British in this case because this is like part of my history too, you know, not specifically, but more generally as like a son of the West. But but what's reflected in this film are Western values. You know, what's reflect what what's playing upon our, our heart watching this film as an audience and what gets us excited or what gets us incensed yeah. are is a Western yeah. response right this is a western film made for western audiences it's all the more unfortunate then that we're not able I, if my hypothesis is correct like if my thesis here is correct that we're not able to make films like this anymore then it's all the more our loss not just from the artistic uh you know accomplishments that are missed out on but also like the real so socio-political efficacy of making a film like this in sort of processing your history right. um and uh now like specific historical accuracies or inaccuracies aside mm -hmm. you know this is clearly a way i think for for a people to sort of like collectively yeah. grapple with the question you know yeah um and and this film is as much as it's made from the perspective of Gandhi, right? It's also made from the perspective of the British peoples.